Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about Mount Etna, the active volcano on the island of Sicily. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. Three Zones Mount Etna is an ancient volcano that's been erupting for thousands of years, and as a result, it has accumulated so much lava on its hillside and slopes that it now has three distinct ecological zones. The lowest zone, sloping gradually up to about 3,000 feet, is fertile with rich vineyards, olive groves, citrus, and orchards. The soil here is incredible and used to grow many different crops and fruits. This is also where the densely populated settlements are, especially Catania. As you move up toward the top of the mountain, it gets less and less populated and of course less and less crops and orchards. The mountain grows steeper and is covered with forests of chestnut, beech, oak, pine, or birch trees. At heights of more than 6,500 feet or 1,900 meters, the mountain is now barren and covered with ash, sand, and fragments of lava and slag. Some small plants grow but is mostly barren. Alright, let's get into the next fact, the highest active volcano in Europe. As you may know, Europe is a very mountainous area. It has mountain ranges throughout its continent and also other active volcanoes. However, Mount Inna by far is the largest and highest active volcano in the European zone. There are other higher European mountains, such as ones in the Alps, but they're not active volcanoes. Mount Etna stands out as the only active volcano that is high enough to compete with these other summits. Mount Etna is roughly 11,000 feet in height, and you may say that is not really that much. However, you have to keep in mind, this is well contained in the island of Sicily, and it is not connected to the European continental land. The European Alps range is obviously all higher than 11,000 feet, but again, they're not active volcanoes. And so Mount Etna is unique in the southern part of Europe, where it stands a very tall mountain jutting out from the sea level on the island of Sicily. It is a prominent figure on the island. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact three, since 2,700 years ago, Mount Etna is steeped in ancient mythological folklore, traditions, and records. It is by far the most documented and most recorded volcano in human history. Its existence and your activities goes way back 2,000 years ago in the time of ancient Greeks and other ancient civilizations. Of course, because of this, tons of mythological stories and legends have been created with Mount Enna as its destination and backdrop. Also, many early thinkers and scientists studied Mount Enna, making it the oldest studied volcano in the world. Its constant eruptions is a source of intriguing curiosity for not just scientists of our day, but also from ancient civilizations. And of course, Mount Enna has erupted so severely in the past that it buried settlements around it. And so it is also known for its destructive power. So with Mount Enna being so old, it is no wonder that a lot of information has been derived from this mountain or this volcano. And also, civilizations have been building around it and to accommodate its potential eruption and lava flow in order to make it safe for people to settle there. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact four, continuous eruption activity. As I mentioned in the previous section, Mount Etna has erupted for the past 2,700 years. That's a super long time. From that time until now, there's always some kind of activity happening in Mount Etna, either smoke or lava overflow or active eruptions. This mountain is never dying and it's always active and poses as a threat to the people who live around them. 
They always need to be vigilant about what happens when Mount Etna erupts in a massive way. Most of the time, it is simply simmering slowly. And as we get into the next section, many settlements and tourists visit Mount Etna. However, keep in mind it is an active volcano, and at any given time, without warning, it could erupt severely and destroy all that surrounds it. For it to be remaining for the past 2,000 years is pretty incredible in my opinion. Alright, let's get into the next and final fact. Can be hiked to the summit. So, because Mount Enna and humans have been coexisting for the past 2,000 years, human civilization have adapted and understood a lot about Mount Enna. And as a result, despite being an active volcano, you too can go to Sicily and climb the mountain. You can absolutely reach the top of the peak and look at the crater with the simmering lava in the middle. Although the mountain is technically dangerous, and technically people are discouraged to hike to the summit, make no mistake, tons and tons of tourists are hiking up to the summit on a daily basis. Of course, the climate changes, so you can't just willy-nilly wear your short sleeves and shorts and climb up. You need to be well prepared. And also the terrain is unforgiving. You can't use flip-flops or simple sandals. And you must have nice sturdy shoes and boots in order to safely ascend the summit and come back down. However, since Mount Enna has been here since ancient times with people studying it for the past 2000 years, you can be sure that it is relatively safe and well traversed. If you think about it, the mountain's trails and surrounding geographical areas have been documented for 2,000 years. Alright, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.